New York last Need year. Need a tight twos over here and all close ups over here. Jimmy got three and a half. Okay. I'll kill you, rabbit. That was a good way to get started, though. It, gave me good, it was a good first play because it had movement when I was a kid. Do we have speed? Are you on the uh, word processor computer or still the old typewriter now? Typewriter is second. I write in legal, not legal pads, they're not, they're in notebooks, spiral notebooks. I must have thousands of them, and I just fill them up. But when I think I have about three pages worth, I'll go to the typewriter and type it. And when I type it, I don't type exactly what I wrote in the other book. I change it, so it becomes the first rewrite. Then I'll go back and write some more, then go type that. Eventually, when it's all through, then I'll go through the whole script and and start to take out everything I don't like. Do you talk it while you're right typing? Yeah, but it, in a very low tone. I don't realize I do it. I mean, my wife would remind me, or my daughter would remind me. They walk by the my room and they'd hear. Zzz, 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 zzz. So Although you're the I, first performance of the play as yeah, well. Yeah, but I, I don't work at home anymore, so nobody hears the buzz, buzz, buzz. So if you're writing for Matthew and Lemon, do you find yourself trying to talk like Matthew? No, but I hear it in my mind. Yeah, I think I do it with Walter. I don't do it with Jack so much, but I hear it. I hear his uh, emotions. The cadence. That, uh, yeah, you know, that. and uh, we're, we're in tune with each other because I write the amount of words that should be right in the sentence for Oscar to say. And, and Walter never questions it. Mm. He'll always say, that's the way it should be. Yeah. Theater today has really become spectacle. Yes, it has. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. Uh, because then we'll have no more Edward Albee's, Arthur Miller's, Thornton Wilder's, Tennessee Williams. They're not going to come. I don't know where they'll come from. I mean, sure, there's, there's a young Irish boy who's come in to New York off-Broadway and got these incredible reviews, but it's, uh, there's no place for a writer to develop a playwright. When I came in in the, in the early 60s, I could fail every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Uh, they wouldn't think a thing of it because it didn't cost that much money. But now when a play costs up to $2 million to put on, they're going to say to themselves, is this got a chance of being a big hit? Because otherwise we're not interested. We'd rather a book, a small musical in there when we can make money. So the theater has changed. But so is movies. In, in the the ticket prices are so high on Broadway. If you try to introduce that to your child, I know I did. It, yeah, you almost have to get a second job to go to a play. Sixty dollars for a ticket for a straight play, seventy-five for a musical, or eighty for Lion King. Or for scalpers, they were saying like three hundred to go see a piece to see Chicago or something like that. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's changed. And their comedy, I don't see a lot of comedy coming around. Maybe you'll see a drama, maybe you'll see a new musical, but it's strictly a comedy. is really hard to find. Right, right. There, there isn't. Um, People aren't funny anymore, or what? When they're, the writers don't. Don't want to well, make people laugh? I mean, I don't write comedies anymore because I, I've moved on to trying to write a full play, a play that has a lot of emotions in it, uh, some dramatic scenes, and some comedy also. Mm -hmm. But I think with the last play I did, which closed, if I wrote it as a straight comedy and took out a lot of the characters, I might have ma made a hit out of it, but it wouldn't have been what I wanted. Talk to you all day. Thank you, sir. Thanks Sorry. so much. Yeah, right. Okay. You have to I've introduce my good thing about